Hey, 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 it's Grips, and as always, thanks for joining me yet again. All right, what am I doing? All right, a uh, very common question I have is, uh, Grips, what software do you use to capture your video? That's a good question, and I'm glad you asked it. Uh, I've been using Camtasia Studio 7 for the past three years or whatever length I've been doing all my tutorials, and I recently upgraded to version 8.4, and I thought I might do a tutorial or, or a review about uh, Camtasia, because... I don't think people realize just how powerful this little tool is. It's not just a capture program. It does so much more. It's actually quite good as a video editor as well. So I'm, this is a review, so it's not a tutorial to show you how to use it. I'm going to show you some of the really cool features of what it can do. Not everything, just some of the really cool features. So let's get cracking on that. So now one of the first things that I noticed that was kind of cool in this version is I can sync any mobile device to Camtasia Studio. So, uh, hey, I've got my webcam on today, and uh, here I'm using uh, just an, an iPad. Yes, it's red and it's got Angry Birds on it. <laughs> it's mine and deal with it. All right, so let's do something really simple. I'm gonna uh, take a video of the screen or my desk, and then I'm gonna immediately sync that to Camtasia Studio. And I will show you just how quickly that is done. So um, here's my keyboard, yes, and um, whatever else I've got. I'm just taking a video of my keyboard, just doing something really rough. And I'm gonna press done on my video, and then I'm gonna upload it. Now watch the screen how quickly that goes. I'm gonna uh, basically sync it now, and bam, there it is. See how quick that was? So I've, I've took a video off, uh, onto my iPad and I uploaded it directly to Camtasia and it was done you know within a matter of seconds and let's have a look at my key. Um, here's my keyboard yes and uh, whatever else I've got. There you go and that's how quickly I can do things with my phone or iPad and that's a pretty cool feature let's say I'm doing a tutorial on bike maintenance and I want to show the audience uh, you know, hands-on onto the bike itself. I can grab my phone, go downstairs, take a video, and I don't have to mess around with, you know, connecting everything. I can just sync it and it uploads directly. And I, I, my workflow is going to be so much more efficient. And that's pretty neat. And I've never, ever seen that in any uh, software before. So I thought that was a really neat feature. Uh, another thing I found really cool about this software is a text-to-speech. Uh, you see here, apply speech to text, and it does exactly what it is. Right now I'm speaking, and if I wanted subtitles in English, let's say the person or the viewer is deaf, uh, I don't have to sit there, listen to myself speak, and then go, oh, okay, and then type out the words. I just let it the, or the software do that for me. It will literally decipher what I'm saying. Now, it's not new. This is the thing. It's new to this, and I've never seen any other software do this. Uh, all window operating systems come with a speech to text or, or voice recognition, right? So what what Camtasia has done is taken advantage of that. It uses the software from Windows to identify your text or your speech and then creates the subtitle. So uh, it's obviously going to set it up for you. So if your friend uses it, it may not work as well because it's you need to teach the window operating system your tone, your speech, and everything, and then it translates on here quite well. Now, like I said, this is um, mainly they came out for screen capture, but it does an awesome job just on video editing. It's actually quite surprising how well it does just in video editing. Uh, for starters, you have unlimited tracks. That's right. As many video tracks you want to use, you can use it. There is no distinguishing main track, audio track, text track. Uh, green screen, yes, it uh, has it can has a green screen option as well. So let's drop that onto a track. And I'm using track two, and it doesn't really matter what track it's on. I didn't set it up properly, and I did that on purpose because I really want to show you. Now here I am. Hey, hey, see, I'm even waving. Isn't that cool? Uh, I left the shadows or the sides really crappy because I want to show you a neat feature, and it's not new. It, a lot of software can do this, but. I uh, can then crop the, en the, en the ends or the sides and then just eliminate whatever it is that I really need for my green screen. And then once I have that, I can go into here more uh, visual properties. If I scroll down, it says remove color. And look at that. It just, I mean, that's a pretty good attempt. I might increase the tolerance slightly. So there it is. I've just did my green screen very quick and fast. Let's go to the clip bin. Let's grab that. Uh, video file and oh I see now like I said it's an overlay so I just gotta place this clip back over it and there it is so it does a pretty good job I mean that's a very clean pull on the green screen if 
for what is supposed to be a video ca capturing software. All right. Yeah, you like it? Hmm, he likes it. Ah, <laughs> oh, God, I'm bad. I'm trying to act. <laughs> All right, let's keep moving. Now, um, once you're in the visual properties, I can do uh, so much more. So let's go into that clip here. I'm going to uncheck the crop, and I'm going to resize the video itself, maybe make it a bit smaller. Now, one of the things that when I, when I looked at the upgrading it, there was one of the... One way they explained it, which was I thought was pretty cool, instead of using this as a preview window, use it as a canvas. So this is my canvas, and now I'm going to start, like an artist, I'm going to do different things like place clips in different places and texts and whatever. So it's more you're creating a painting rather than just creating a video. So you can animate anything in, uh, in Camtasia. So let's go back into the visual properties. And here I have the word animation. So let's say I want this to maybe rotate, flip, or just do anything with it. So I'm going to turn on the animation, and you'll see here where the animation is. So here is the start of my animation, and then here is the end of my animation. So anything that I do after this node or keyframe will affect this clip. So let's say I want to move this clip over here and then put a slight rotation on that, like so. And then watch what happens. If I press play, you'll see that it will move. And if I put it down, it might even look better. <laughs> and this might be more believable. Whee! There you go. So you've got your call-out options here. So it's got a plethora of ways that you can draw attention to the viewer. Like, look at this idiot right here. Right? So I can animate that as well. And all this, you can customize it the way you want. You can add text. But obviously, you, you were aware of that already. But the library is another feature here that I'm quite impressed with. You go into the library, and it, it gives you lots of different ways that you can theme up your projects, like matching color banners and callouts and whatnot. And you can see it does come with a host of them. It's quite a large collection here. And you can always just go get more media. It'll launch up your web browser like this and it'll take you to their website, and then you've got an absolute plethora of more themes that you could use to spruce up your, your videos. The audio, it is limited on the capabilities of the audio, but what I am impressed with is the audio feature itself. And you're thinking, going, you've lost me, bro. All right, so here's, I need a clip that has a bit of sound so you can see the waveform format. Let's just uh, delete all of that, and let's grab this one here. All right, so here you can immediately see the WAV format. Now, what happens if you want to sync your audio to another clip that has audio, like you did multi-camming, right? So you want to zoom in on this. So for starters, I can really zoom in on that. So I've got my, my thing here. These here, I'm just selecting different tracks. So I'm just, and again, I'll show you why, what, what the, the purpose of this is. But let's say uh, I want to work on a WAV format just in here. So I can zoom in on that like so, so there you go, and then I can do even more of a zoom, like so. So I can really visually see my WAV format, so I can really work with that WAV format. And if I go into these different tabs here, like audio, I can then change the volume up and down, do fade-ins and so forth and so forth, and that's a pretty cool feature. But like I said, there is, there is a limitation to what the audio does. Some of the non-linear editing obviously does a far better job than what this does, but that doesn't mean that it is, it is bad, it's quite good. One of the cool things about this, they've obviously realized that a lot of people now watch it on uh, their iPads and their phones. So what they got, there's an auto function here, it's called uh, Smart Focus or Smart Follow. So wherever your cursor is on when you do your tutor the uh, tutorial, and when you finish, it automatically then places all the zooms in for you. So if you're on a mobile device, because you've got very limited screen space, if you move your cursor, say, to the upper left-hand corner, the screen follows you rather than making the screen look like everything smaller. It actually zooms in for you. So it's a smart follow focus, and it focuses it for you. So that's a pretty good idea to have when you're doing a tutorial and you forget that there are people using their mobile phones to view your tutorial. And that's a pretty cool feature as well. And if you're confused, fine. I will do a tutorial on different features of what this software can do. And this is just an overview of some of the capabilities. Anyway, I'm probably rambling on. I've lost probably 90% of the viewers in the first two minutes. But anyway, for those who stuck around, as always, thanks for watching.